Dale and Zartman here with Rescue Methods. Uh, we're out here with superstars from Central Joint, Anderson, and Miami Township. And uh, we're going to be doing a two-point tether, so we'll just do your specific tutorial and, and components on how to deploy this quickly and efficiently and uh, go get your victim. Moderate current values here, a lot of different applications for why you would do a two-point tether, but it's a hasty deployment, so it should be fast, should be efficient. Um, we're not rigging any directionals or descent control devices in back on shore. This is all manpower driven. In order to keep your lines afloat, make things lightweight so that the deployment crew can get across the other side fast, uh, we really encourage that you use throw bags and that you just splice those lines together. This is not designed to in, uh, incur like MCP, removable control level current. We're going to need uh, more life safety uh, rated equipment. This is just down 30 throw bag applications. So contact point one is going to be in the left corner of the boat. Uh, we're going to rig this in as our primary line. We're going river left in this application, so the boat is going to set a right ferry angle. In order to facilitate that right ferry angle as the paddlers go, this is a hard link connection here. This is going to be a gliding point back here on the, the, the stern of the boat. So the back of the boat here, when we pull tension on this line, keeping this line moderately up out of the current, that's going to go ahead and jack us around so that we have a proper ferry angle. It also allows, if we let the, the rope drift into the water, because we're using polypro and lightweight throw bags, this is going to stay on top of the current. It's not going to catch a bunch of value, and it keeps this line behind the paddlers so that they can effectively make all their strokes. It also positions this by the pilot or the controller of the boat, who's primarily per pulling uh, rudder strokes or stern prize. He's not primarily power on this side. You're going to have power left, power right, uh, and power right back. So they're either stroking or drifting. All the control moves are used back here. This keeps this out of his way. So as soon as we launch, over they go. You'll notice on the right front corner, we've already pre-connected uh, two LinkedIn throw bags. So as soon as we get to the other side with the crew of four, crew of four is what we recommend for this. Um, two to three of those individuals are gonna jump out on the other side of the, of the bank on river left. If you send all three, they can all control that top point line or you can convert this into a three point uh, where that third man bangs down river and then controls the third point rig in that would look like a mirror image of that application. So this is our two point. We're just gonna leave that up front. Uh, we'll dump two out to manage that line and then we'll leave two rescuers in the boat to go get the victim. When you deploy on this um, as the rescuers, uh, don't be shy about using paddle strokes. So go ahead and use your draw strokes, um, alternate who's power stroking and who's not to help position the boat where you want it because two point tether does not have infinite control. So you wanna be active rescuers in the boat with your paddle strokes to position properly. All right, you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Boat crew's gonna jump in. We'll just go ahead and watch this deploy out. Let's go real speed, try to deploy as quickly as you can. Approach the bank. <laughs> As the boat team approaches the bank, they're going to pick an upriver position based on current so that they can effectively make this paddle. Um, if you're too far downriver, it's going to be a lot of aggressive paddling, so you might want to push upriver a little bit more since so your paddle strokes are a little more casual. I'd encourage you guys to push up probably another just to the back end of the red boat. Their objective on the far side is about mid island. Always pick out your benchmark or your landing zone on the other side on river left so that you know where your target is. When you guys initiate your paddle strokes and your control strokes, we encourage everyone to paddle hard, early, fast, set a good line, um, and then as you traverse across the river with that ferry angle, you can just drift, uh, make micro adjustments, and then right before you're ready to drop into your objective, uh, then just a couple of power stroke mechanisms over there on that side. So here they go. Got a good ferry angle. You see the control man's using a good prize stroke. He powers when he needs to. That's a good line. More slack, guys. More slack, more slack, more slack. Keeping the line out. Shore base crew, walk down river. Shore base crew, walk down river. Slack, 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 slack. Walk down river. Walk down river. They're bringing that line down so it's behind the paddle strokes and now they can power right into their pocket. Great, they land in their destination well. They picked a good uh, good little eddy to drop into over there. Crew's all gonna drop out, grab those two lines that are pre-connected, and we're immediately ready to deploy the two-point tether. I'm gonna come across the video screen here. <coughs> Our victim's mid-river down there. 
As soon as they deploy, they'll call out positioning with their paddles or with verbals. And then the shore base crews will try and be intuitive as well. Um, shore base crews can bang uh, in front of trees on the waterline and get into whatever position they want to have optimal management of the ropes to get to the victim. Want to make sure you don't ever get too lateral. Um, if you get your ropes too lateral, then you're going to be pulling too much tension to try and locate the victim. So make sure the two top corners for your two-point tether um, are up river from your victim and from your primary objective. He's using paddle indicator to show I want to go river right. Crews are appropriately pulling him river right. Once he's online, then he's going to go ahead and deploy down river. They're both doing a good job of being active paddlers and active rescuers. Rope crews need to let out enough rope that they're not resisting and making them work harder than they need to. More slack, control lines, more slack. They got a good line. We've got good friction grabs with the ropes on the trees. So when we get close to the victim, if we start to incur a lot of current, um, we'll just use a partial friction wrap on the tree to help hold that rope in position. They'll dig in, get a little bit of rope stretch until they can reach out with the T-handle or directly grab the victim and then pull them right into the craft. Can you guys see your target? Go ahead and give them rope as needed to get them where they need to get to. And they've got the victim in the boat. Make sure when you load the boat uh, that you're staying back towards the rear end of the boat. You don't want to bow load as you start to pull. That can push the bow down into the current. And you start bringing in water, especially if you're not running an open transit boat. Um, we're using the Katinga Rick Craft uh, from our good friends Brian and Christoph in Canada. Great, lightweight, fast, deployable uh, paddle-based craft for these kind of applications. and they vectored the line between the two trees just to bring them in. Now, to bring the far side river left crew back over, we're gonna go empty craft. We're gonna pull the empty craft back over to river left. As all that crew is holding on to is throwbacks, they're gonna take the line that's on river right connected to the left side of the boat, and they're gonna cross it over the boat and rig it into the carabiner connector on the right side of the boat. So it's gonna have a crossover and a redirect coming back over. That crew is gonna simply jump into the boat with their throw bag, and as soon as that happens, this crew is gonna pull on their rope on this side. When they pull on their rope on this side, that's gonna pull the right side of the boat into the current, set a proper ferry angle, and then they'll just use this rope walking across this way with that ferry angle facilitation to bring that boat right into this bank. And here we go, we'll watch them wriggle here. Make sure you guys cross over that line, clip into the carabiner on the right. So they're rigged, they're getting ready to jump in. Uh, as soon as the crews jump in, the boat has a tendency to go immediately full lateral. Uh, you wanna make sure that you watch that for loading the upriver side of the boat. So both operators will be on the right side of the boat, uh, hopefully, and they'll pull rudders and stern pry strokes on the back. Get to the back of the boat. Back of the boat. Back of the boat. And there's our ferry angle. And that's it, rapid deployment, two-point tether.